Hi, this is Bob Bruns with the Link 4 Corporation, and today we're here to show you how to take the iDrive 300 connected to the RW45 Ritter motor and gearbox and set the mechanical limits for the travel on your vent for the open and closed position. In order to adjust the mechanical limits on the RW45, first we're going to loosen all four set screws. There's two short set screws and two long set screws. Once we loosen those up, we're going to rotate the limits with this brass wheel all the way to the outer side of the motor and gearbox for each limit. Once we achieve that, we will tighten both long set screws. Once we've tightened the two long screws, we want to run our motor open and close to ensure we have the limits and the motor direction correct. That was closed. That was open. That, okay, first we went open direction and we stopped on our limit. Now when we switch the motor to close, the motor should turn. If we had our directions wrong, we would have stopped on the safety limit. Our motor then turned to the closed direction and what we now know is that we have our motor direction and our limits correct. So now we can continue with the setting of the limits. With it in the closed position, we're going to let our motor drive to the fully closed point. We're going to take the closed limit and we're going to loosen the screw and let the motor drive in the closed direction until our vent is fully closed. Just prior to the vent being fully closed, you'll tighten a long screw and it should travel about another quarter of an inch or so to the fully closed position. Once we've set our fully closed position, we'll go to the open direction. We'll let the motor run for about five seconds and then go back to the closed direction. Now that it's stopped on the closed limit, verify that it is in the closed position that you want it in. Once we verify that we're in the mechanically closed position, we'll now go to open. The vent should travel a little bit longer than it did to go to the closed direction and stop on the open limit. Once it's done that, we'll loosen the long screw for the open direction and we'll allow the vent to travel until it's to the open position that we want as fully open. Once it gets there, we tighten the screw and it stops at the open position. Once it's stopped at the open position on the limit, you again want to travel in the closed direction for about five seconds. And then reverse the motor back to the open direction. Once you've done this, the motor limits are set and you want to ensure that all four screws are now tight. Now that you have all four screws tight, Prior to placing the covers back on the motor, it always is the best practice to run the motor fully open 
and fully closed at least through one complete cycle before you call your job done. Now we've done the mechanical limits for the Ritter RW45. Should you run into any complications in the field during setting your limits, please feel free to call Link4 Corporation at 714-524-0004 or you can find us on the web at link4corp.com.